afternoon everybody happy Monday last day uh, official day of summer here a little afternoon chooch in rosy stall out of here I'm out of here with uh, the boy and the girl today doing our little uh, afternoon chooch as he said you see these things I'm telling you about guys look at the size of these things they fall just to give you an idea the things like a uh, things like almost a tennis ball size and these things fall from about a hundred feet and they got some good mass to it wacky right on the uh, right on the noggin there these things can be uh, and these things can be bloody bloody painful all right well there we are we're already dickered up good okay stop there we go we're free <laughs> <laughs> it took a while for me to get the two dog wrap down when I'm walking. I always have people watching me in the morning. Rosie, you know, you're starting to get into that uh, country music. You're starting to do that uh, being out on those uh, gun ranges. Damn, girl. I've got to get your ass down to Texas here and I'm going to marry you, girl. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people today. I've always been kind of a hillbilly. The roots of my family go back to uh, Kentucky and North Carolina down there, western, western North Carolina and Kentucky, and uh, hence the uh, moonshine and all that. And, well, you got to like all those uh, sad country songs, Rosie. You know, you got to get used to playing them all the time. I said no. You know, my trick when I listen to country music, yeah, it's usually all sad. You know, I just play the record backwards. The dog lives, the guy doesn't get drunk, he gets his truck back, and his wife comes back to him. <laughs> That's my solution for uh, country music. Just play the shit backwards. There's some more of these freaking things, and I tell you, I'd like to have a dollar for every time I've been hit on the head by these uh, these things. It's insane. So Anyway, yeah, that's my solution. Just play the country music backwards, baby, and you're all set. Everything has a good, good out outcome to it instead of a uh, instead of a crappy outcome so yeah all right easy easy <laughs> dogs are just running right into people like so happy happily crazy out here to take a jump anyway quite a weekend i haven't even begun to get all the uh all the uploads done they're gonna be coming up you know cut last night that late after Jen and I went out to the uh, gun range, got back and did all, uh, got all of some of that video set and collated and started doing some editing and stuff. Got tired. I mean, we had everybody here on the uh, weekend up till about one o'clock on Saturday, and everybody tied on the drink bag. Pretty damn good too. We got hillbilly days, baby. Hillbilly days out of the <laughs> I love the uh, neighborhoods, always high quality here. I wouldn't hit that with a 10 foot pole if I was a guy. But anyway, yeah, so I got a lot, we got a lot more stuff to come on the weekend. Of course, everybody always enjoys every time I upload the videos with the boss and the ass whacking because I got some marks on me from the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the boss waits till your weakest moment when you're doing something on the still with the shine and then he attacks you full force with that big ass wooden spoon and he likes to see the girls jump. Ow! Ooh! <laughs> like everybody's in a bad mood out there today. I don't know. Heard some people yelling across the street from work today. Sorry about the camera work. I'm just adjusting the dogs here. So... It's a busy day as usual up on the avenue of love for Monday and everybody's like, oh my god, I just, I can't believe the boss whacks everybody's ass with that stick. And of course, Jen being tough and German, she's got to stand there, so the boss just keeps whacking her way on her and then she's like, wow, my ass is almost bleeding. <laughs> well, you got to be the tough girl up there, you got to be army strong. <laughs> that stuff. The boss is like, well, you know, you girls always really secretly like that stuff when I'm uh, whacking this stuff. So it was a uh, great, great weekend. And uh, 
Next month will be a good day. It's going to be busy. And I told you guys things are going to be getting into high gear now. Jen and I are going to be uh, ramping up the... Uh, ramping up our uh, pistol and rifle work here and we're going to be trying to scope out the, yeah I know <laughs> I think it must be a rule that every guy with uh, every guy with a big pickup truck loves girls with uh, well, you know, <laughs> big racks out there you see my upload about, uh, you know, you jealous of girls with uh, big boobs and that upload will make you happy. And yesterday was funny. I'm out on the uh, gun range yesterday and I got the, I got a top on like this and the damn, uh, damn shells are ejecting out the casings. Hotter than hell, right? Gone down. The <laughs> it's a problem. So next time I think I got to wear a, wear a fucking bib on the, on the firing. So we're going to see if we can get out to a uh, tactical range out there with a uh, out there with an instructor or something. You know, sometimes they buy these old uh, they buy these old abandoned houses and stuff, and they make tactical sort of training things that you can go out there and have a good time and uh, learn. Because you know, Jen and I want to be prepped for the for the zombie apocalypse, right? I mean. I want my very last YouTube vid to go up before they uh, cut the power and all the networks go down. When they unearth that shit a thousand years from now and find something to play that on an old computer, they're going to see Rosie at that fucking fence line with those zombies coming full on the top, just pow, pow, pow. <laughs> and then I just turn to Jen and I say, honey, just put that bullet into me. If one of them bites down on me, just hit it. <laughs> <laughs> We're all fully prepping for the uh, zombie apocalypse. You know, I get that feeling in my bones, like it's like the end times, right? So I want to make sure, like, we go out with sort of a uh, Hollywood bang and all that. Anyway, it's been a uh, fun weekend. There's going to be so much stuff coming up with the uh, San Diego trip and the Reno trip. I'll tell you, it is going to be a hoot. Every weekend is going to be packed with, uh, damn packed with activities and stuff. I am so happy to have you guys walk. More stuff coming up from the, uh, yeah, I know. Mother. <laughs> nice boys. Nice Rosie. We got uh, more stuff from our, uh, eve our dinner at uh, Chevy's and then some night front on AFF. And Rosie cooks breakfast the next day. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody.